Hafadeh, I'm Samuel Emanuel from The Local Interest, and today we're here at Mac Tech with Tristan. Hi! AKA <laughs> Tristan, though. So let's go ahead and go inside. So Tristan, tell me a little bit about Mac Tech. Tell me um, some of the history, like when did you guys start? So Mac Tech Guam, it was founded in 2015 by the owner, David Macapinlac, and it started off uh, being called Apple Guam. Uh, basically, he went around to like coffee shops and different businesses handing out his business card, and he fixed computers and sold computer parts on the side, and eventually grew his business to what it is today. A lot of people know Mac Tech Guam from its location in the Aganya Shopping Center, and that's where I started working there uh, back in like 2018. For a long time they were there but now we're here at the Aconto Mall in Tumon and we do love this space a lot. So Mac Tech historically we've fixed computers, any kind of computer, Mac PC, as well as iPhone and iPad. Not only do we do repairs, we also sell a lot of cool stuff on the side. So from toys, figures, cards, keychains, lanyards, uh, stickers, a lot of people come here for different reasons. So. Uh, I think that's a really cool aspect. It's a lot of cool nerdy stuff. Okay. Hence a lot of our technicians and sales associates are called nerds. So Mac Tech Nerds, the nerd squad. Yeah, and what's your number? I saw something over there. 477 nerds, so 6373. And it actually stands for something too. So the nerds uh, is networks, electronics, repairs, <laughs> diagnostics, and security. No way, yeah. that's cool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what you have here. It's actually the Apple table that we have. It's very Apple-esque. We have like the wooden table they have, especially um, in relevance to like Apple stores mm -hmm. stateside and around the world. So they use like a, a wooden table like this. Um, we have MacBooks for sale, we have iMacs, and then the nice thing is that we have affordable prices. Mm -hmm. We usually sell refurbished or upgraded Macs, so nice. you know, we have a very competitive pricing compared to other places. Yeah. And then if we move a little back here, so if you're not into Apple, um, we do actually have other options like Windows options. We have HP Elite Books as well as Lenovo, Dell when we do have them. Uh, as same thing, they're upgraded and they also have have affordable pricing or competitive pricing I should say compared to other places yeah so we also have a desktop uh, gaming PC for sale here so yeah so we're just showcasing some uh, gaming footage on YouTube so Tristan over there I'm seeing a lot of stuff happening over here can you tell me a little bit more about what we have here? yes definitely so for all the stuff here on these shelvings it's a bunch of uh, random cool tech products as well as toys so we have collectible figures from Funko Pops we have a dedicated shelf for Pokemon cards uh, we have monitors for sale, toys. It's a lot of cool different stuff that customers are always interested in, especially for holidays or special events. So a lot of people come here for gift shopping. So it's pretty much a nerd... Uh, <laughs> nerd <event>. heaven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you do come to Mac Tech, it's free diagnostics. I didn't mention that earlier. Free diagnostics and also no fix, no pay. So there's not a lot of risk bringing a device here. So. Okay, so now finally, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about your stand yes. your brands that you have. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so when I'm not working here at Mac Tech, I run my own business. Uh, uh, Solace Studio. Uh, it's a photography and videography business, so I'm directly competing with you. I'm, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a student at GCC, mm -hmm. uh, Viscom and marketing major, uh, Solace Studio on the side, and then I also have the Pokeverse. Basically, it's a Pokemon page on Instagram with like 74,000 followers now and wow, growing. So, celebrity yeah, right. Here. I did mention David. Um, mm -hmm. So, he's an owner of a lot of cool platforms on social media, like the Guam Food Blog nice. and also Guam Grabs, stuff like that. So, uh, we leverage and, you know, that platform for him a lot and then I'm you know, I'm incorporated with that, helping with all that. Um, so you might have seen me on Tristan Eats on Guam Food Blog before in the past. So yeah. it's a lot of fun and I gain a lot of experience from that as well. Nice. So I think cool. I remember seeing your video when Jollibee first opened. Yes, the grand opening of Jollibee. That was super fun. Yeah. So that was a that was my first Guam Food Blog shoot, I believe. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing all of, of this with us today. Hopefully everyone at home will come and visit for themselves one day. Hopefully when you guys do come visit, make sure that you say that the local interest sent you. Make sure you request for Tristan himself. Himself. And if you are in need of any of his services or are interested in seeing any of his social media, you can definitely check that out. Thank Bye. you. Bye.